Hi, it's Gina here for a walk down memory lane, and today we're going to talk about Imagines' eye top tool. This was originally designed as a brad maker, so that you could make your own personalized brads and put anything you wanted on them. But they've come out with a lot of new products, and now you can also make magnets, headbands, barrettes, all sorts of different things. And today we're going to make some magnets. So I've got my eye top here, and when you buy it, they cost $29.99, and this is what you get. Um, it has this top here is for a medium sized brad and this is for a small one. You can also purchase separately a head to make large brads or magnets or whatever it is that you're making and um, that runs around $4.99 I think. But today we're going to make some magnets and I'm going to use my medium template here. I just have this set of templates here which comes with a set of four templates for your small, medium, and large brads. And then this one is just a circle one that you can use also um, for fabric or whatever else you want to use. And that pack of four templates is hmm, $2.99, I believe. So I've, I went ahead and cut out one of my templates here. And I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, sometimes if you just use your regular patterned paper, you'll get some creases and maybe not perfectly smooth edges. So if you take a wet wipe and just put your cardstock or patterned paper in between there and just get it a little bit moist. You don't want to get it too moist, but just a little bit. And then you can peel it off and you can feel that your paper is a lot more pliable. And that will help your edges round more and not be quite as creasy. That's a word, I promise. Okay, so I am going to take my Magnet Daddy top, which is this round part, and set it on the metal head here. And then I'm gonna swivel, you just pull this apart up a little bit and swivel it around and it'll go right in place. And then I'm gonna slip my paper right in between them and get it centered so you can see it exactly and then you just give it a little squeeze. You don't have to squeeze really hard and you can kind of hear it do just a little pop and then just squeeze around the rubber head a little bit and pull it out and I'm going to swivel the head out again and tuck all my little edges in. Just tuck those all in there. And then I'm going to take my Magnet Daddy back and when you get this, I don't think I'm going to be able to get these apart because the magnets are so strong. But when you get this, this part in here is actually the magnet and it's a separate part. And you'll just slide it in the little lip and it fits together. Um, and then you just set it right inside here. Swivel your Brad Daddy or your Magnet Daddy head back and give it another little squeeze. You'll hear it pop and you're all done. You can pull it out. And then you just pull your rubber head out back a little bit and you can pull your magnet right out. And there you have it. Just a perfect little magnet. Um, they also sell punches in these template shapes so you can get those and that would make that a lot faster. Um, I think the medium punch runs $13.99. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend getting the templates because that way you're going to save some money. But then once you get it and you see how much you love it and how much you use it, because I'm not going to lie, when I first got this, when I, well, when I first saw it, I thought, I'm eh, not really sure I need one of those. I don't use brads very much. But then I started seeing all the other cool things you could make. And then I was sold. So that, after you've started using it for a while, you might decide that you want to buy the punches because it'll save you a lot of time. But anyway, now we're going to make a magnet with some fabric. This is some fabric from an old pair of pajama pants. Um, it has Lightning McQueen's number on it. I have a little boy. So we're going to make some Lightning McQueen magnets to go on the magnet board in his room. And I'm just going to set this on top of here. I just cut out a big square for this, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. I'm going to set that on top and then swivel that back. Then I'm just going to make sure that that's right where I want it. I'm going to be able to see his number a little bit and the star a little bit. And then I'm just going to give it a little squeeze like we did the paper. 
pull it out. And now I'm just going to lay it down here and take my scissors and cut off all the extra. This way you don't have to worry about trying to trace out all those little parts on the fabric and getting them all cut out, but you're still sure to have enough fabric. And then I'm just going to tuck those all in there, just like we did with the paper. Take my Magnet Daddy back here and set it on here. And swivel this back around and squeeze them together. And just like we did with the last one, I'm just going to pull that back a little bit and pull out my magnet. And it's all done. Got a little bit of the 95, a little bit of the star. And it's all done. So I hope that helped you out and gave you some more ideas about what you can do with the iTop tool and how easy it is to use because it really is very user friendly. And I can't wait to see what you come up with with your iTop.